Now, it is, this is electronic ignite, so this will electronic, you know, have, have the have a electronic ignition. All right, guys. So here is a little bit of the setup. So you can see, I've got uh, I've got my stove in here. Again, nothing great. I wanted to put a vanity in here, but the vanities are they're too high. You'd have to cut them all down. So I just makeshift this. But I got this all in. And let's see here. I figure when I cook, I can just uh, when I cook, try and do this without. I mean, with my thing here. Now, it is, this is electronic ignite, so this will electronic, you know, have, have the have a electronic ignition. But uh, if I plug it in, but without electricity, I can just hand light it, um, and then I can cock the seat a little bit forward so I don't burn the back of the seat or something like that. Um, but we'll open the door. Um, but it really, this thing really works nice. I mean, I can really adjust the flame way down just for a simmer. I can run it pretty much a wide open to cook stuff quick. Then she turns off and then I just turn the propane off underneath here. And then the uh, small one, this uh, small one uh, puts out a really nice little flame. But I'll tell you what guys, this, this thing is amazing. So Mark, I'll tell you, that thing is a sweet, sweet little stove and uh i mean i really like that but i kind of set this up i can you know have a desk here i've got my chair i can sit here i got a little little light here and i can turn that on when i'm plugged in or whatever and i put a, a piece of wood on the top of the little bella's little cage and uh whatnot so she can uh she can uh kind of get across on the thing and that's just my laundry and I've got uh, I took uh, I took the, uh, the the paint off of here it wasn't really paint it was kind of weird stuff but anyway I took those off there and I've got some you know block outs for that and then I did the same I did the same to this one I just you can see this stuff is kind of weird I don't know it's kind of a I don't know what it is but I wanted to be able to see traffic in that so anyway that's good for cooking that's uh, works out really good i just got my electric heater in here for now like i said we're going to try and hang out a little bit longer make a little more money and then we can uh uh you know possibly get out of here but uh nothing fancy you know i get down to florida or wherever i'm going that it's going to be warm i can uh i can then kind of set up and uh and actually uh you know work on it or whatever and get it get it up to par get it the way i want it um but for now it's you know you just give it to get it so it's you know satisfactory to stay in and, and use and that's the main thing so the chair really does work nice setting it that way because you can set in there and uh and kind of uh, have a little more space um my leg had come loose so I'm tighten that back up but anyway you know it's like I say it's not great but it's doable I got some water back there water jug um, we also did put a we tried to start doing some painting here in gray to get rid of the yellow I did put this in so I can plug in electric or I can run a run the generator off it and uh, we'll continue painting as if, if the weather permits I mean it's pretty cold so it's going to be limited maybe today i can i can do a little of that so that's kind of where we're at guys i had a kind of a list i wanted to i got a couple more videos i want to get up here and some i i always i always do lists here of my videos and what i wanted to kind of do here so anyway that's kind of where that's at i'm going to go over and have a cup of coffee i think edit this little video and try to get it up for you guys <laughs> uh, the one thing i guess i can Maybe I can set this here and we can actually, I can actually kind of chat with you or whatever. I guess probably the, the other thing um, is, man, I really, really, really like this van. I really like it. Um, the only thing is, oh, I, I called uh, the number on it, which 
it's out of uh, Grand Rapids and it was Visions Auto Glass. So I called on them. They were really, really nice. They got back with me in a couple days and told me roughly all the service that they did. They said it was about a 50 year old guy that drove this all the time, really took care of it. He was the primary guy. It's been to California and back. They did two transmission flushes that he knows of on it. It's had a uh, new set of plugs and wires put in at over 100,000 miles. So that's probably due again. They did all the, all the service records up to, you know, all the, all the oil changes and that. That's why it runs, I think, so good. But my big scare is, you know, is the transmission going to hold up for me? That's my big, big, big scare. Now, the rear end, I'm going to take, maybe even today, because it's going to be a fairly nice day, I'll pump that all out of there and put all new fluid in the in the rear end in the differential just just for safety just to, just so it's got fresh um, you know fluid and stuff and I'm sure that's been checked and everything but you know that's a cheap cheap thing seven eight nine nine dollars and you've got that uh, new fluid in there and stuff so you know you're in pretty good shape there um, but yeah the only thing like i said what really scares me is 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 if the transmission's going to hold up you know this thing's got two hundred and twenty three thousand miles on it it's got a t lot a lot of miles but it it runs beautiful it just runs fantastic and uh you know but you know i've been in love with vehicles before and they're because they're so old and then they take a crap on me and i'm totally disappointed and i shouldn't be disappointed in the vehicle it's just i i, I you know they're old vehicles so, I mean, what I did is basically took the truck and I sold that, made a little bit of money, bought the other truck dirt cheap, traded that truck for this one. So I kind of slowly stepped to getting to a van so I could get out of here for the winter and and, uh, and go do stuff. I haven't heard anything from Big Sky and the problem is I've got Bella and I've got no housing for Bella. So that's one of the reasons I've got to kind of not focus on Big Sky. I've got to do something different. And if I go to Florida, I can do, uh, you know, day, day labor or something, work two, three days a week. And, and, uh, you know, that might work, but, uh, um, or do some handyman stuff or whatever. So that's where we're at. I got another video I want to get up for you guys. Uh, to, I'll try and work on it today. Um, but yeah, this thing works pretty good. And, uh, the little stove is amazing. Again, thanks, Mark. That was amazing. Uh, Travis, thanks for sending me some money on pa uh, Patreon. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. You've done that every year, and you always follow my channel, and you've been a, a super loyal uh, subscriber. I loved hanging out with you last winter, and I sure wish I could hang out with you again this winter. So peace out, guys.